Hello everyone and welcome to the first in the Year 5 and 6 Maths at Home series. We're going to enjoy doing some amazing maths together. I hope that you work really hard and that you really enjoy the challenges that are to come. Just like in class, what we're going to do is we're going to explore some maths by building up in small steps to address some really challenging tasks. Um, we'll do that through the video. At the end of the video, there'll be a series of questions or tasks for you to have a go at yourself that will really extend your thinking. Um, if you need any help, you might want to stop the video, watch some bits again, you might want to go and find someone that you can ask. I also want to encourage you to think about your own ways of being creative, explaining things in different ways so you can get the most out of all these tasks. We're going to jump in to task number one, it's a beauty. So here goes, the five consecutive numbers challenge. The first thing we're going to have to be able to do is actually add five numbers. We're just going to have some thought around that. Let's say 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 plus 18. Now, I can add the numbers in any order. I don't have to add them in the order that they're presented here. Let me give you a suggestion. I personally would start with this one, doing 6 plus 9 first. I know that makes 15, and I can see there's another 15 there. When I add that 15, of course, that would make 30. Um, that leaves 12 plus 18. Now, I actually know that 12 plus 18 is 30 also. So if I add those two numbers, that, that's another 30. In total, that gives me 60. I, I like that order. I, it makes it easier for me. Equally, I could try it this way around. Let's say I go for 18 plus 6. That's 24. I can see there's another 24 in there. 15 and 9 is 24. And that just leaves the 12. Two 24s is 48. And the 12, well, of course, still 60. Have a go at this one. 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11. Do the calculation and think, which order should I add the numbers? Can I, can I do it in different ways? Pause the video, have a go, and we'll come back and look at some alternative options. Okay, and I assume we're ready to have a look. So uh, you might have done it like this, you might have done it differently. I first of all started from the 9 plus 11. Uh, that's, that makes 20. Um, then I saw a number bond to 10, 7 and 3, that's 10. 20 and 10, that just leaves me the 5 to add, 35. It's one way it can be done. Uh, the other thing I could do is, is look for pairs of numbers that come up twice. So 7 and 5 is 12, but so is 9 and 3. There's another 12. That just leaves me the 11 to add. And of course, I still end up with 35. Perhaps also you could go for the 14s. 11 and 3 is 14. Uh, 9 and 5, well, there'll be another 14. That leaves the 7. Add all that together, it is 35. Um, now, our task involves calculating and using consecutive numbers. Consecutive numbers are numbers that go up in a count of one. I, I once gave this task to my class, and, um, and here were some of the responses. Um, and, and these are non-examples, so these were incorrect. Um, what I want you to do is just have a quick look and think, what mistake did the children make in each case? Well, in this top green example, of course, these uh, there are five numbers, but they're not consecutive. They, 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 it's almost a count of twos. Whereas the example below, of course, they are consecutive numbers, but there are only four consecutive numbers there. Let's start your challenge. Well, you'll choose correctly, I'm sure, five consecutive numbers. Choose any ones that you like. You can make them as big or small as you like and write those numbers down. And when you've done that, my friends, add your numbers. You might need to pause the video, of course, if you want a little bit longer. Um, I will also ask you to multiply your numbers by five, your middle number, sorry, by five. And when you do that, what do you notice? Hmm. Um, can you explain that? I mean, does it work for other numbers or just the examples that you chose? Pause the video, see if you can really explore this idea. What, what do you notice? Why is that? Try it with other examples. How well can you explain that? Hmm, it's a beautiful idea to have a look at. So let me uh, give you an example. 
let's say you'd gone for three, four, five, six, and seven. That is a sum of 25. I've represented the quantities there. Um, but actually, my, my middle number, of course, there is five. And um, if I have five lots of five, it looks like this. And of course, it gives me the same amount. Three plus four plus five plus six plus seven equals 25. And so does five lots of five. Just have a look at the picture and have a think about why those quantities are the same. I always imagine there, the if, if I put this circle here from the six and I put it onto the four, that would, that would make these three fives. And if I put these two from the seven onto the three, again, they would both be fives. I would have five fives. So actually to do this calculation, I can just take the middle number and multiply it by five, the, the number of numbers. Hey, it's a nice little idea to explore. Well, I'm going to show you this question. Now, this might look completely different, but actually there's a link between the pattern we've just explored and this question. I wonder if you can find it. Now, what I'm going to do in a moment, I'm going to ask you to pause the video, read the information, see if you can answer the question and see how is this question similar from the idea that we've just explored. Have a go. Let me bring us back together and have a look at a couple of ways we could see this. So, the dots represent the sandcastles, and there are 15, uh, the 15 dots, 15 sandcastles. Let's say I share them equally between the three days of my holiday. That, of course, would be five sandcastles each day. Now, actually, we know that each day she makes one more than the day before. So, actually, there must be more in day three and less in day one. Four five and six. The five is almost the middle number. There's another way you could have gone about this though. We could have thought, well, I don't know how many we started with, but I know on the second day we made one more than day one, and on the third day we made two more than day one. So there's almost three to add, and then we need to share the rest out in a way that's fair. Now, of course, that is 12 sandcastles left to uh, split between the three days, which of course will be an additional four on each day. So again, day one, four, day two, five, and day three, six. I should say the answer to the question, how many sandcastles does she make on the third day of her holiday? Well, of course, that will be six. So let's have a look at your challenges. icmaths.com, home lessons, and we're gonna go down year five and six for the tasks Tasks, year five and six, five consecutive numbers. Click this link. And that brings us our options here. Now you might have a go at both tasks. You might have a go at just one of them. Uh, choose the challenge that's just right for you. Um, for task A, there's two questions. See if you can complete those. Um, I wonder if you can find a way to answer those by multiplying as well, rather than adding. The, there's a question that is similar to the example that, we, um, that we've worked on together. See if you can understand that now and a good strategy for answering it. Equally, you might rather have a go at task B. Here's an example above. Consecutive numbers that add to make 18? Well, five, six, and seven do, but so do three, four, five, and six. Well, which consecutive numbers add up to make 45? Level one is you can find an answer. Level two, you can find different answers to that question, but the challenge is to get to level three. How many answers are there to that question? How do you know that you found them all? And how do you know that there aren't any more answers? If you wanna have a look at the answers to all those tasks, scroll down onto the next page, and they're just down here. So of those tasks at the end, there's lots of different options for you to do. Choose the thing that's just right for you. You don't have to do everything. You can if you want to, but I hope the challenge, you get it just right for yourself. And I hope you find ways to really get every drop at the maths in here. Really enjoy it. Parents, it'd be really great to see some of the examples of the children's work, different creative approaches that they've taken. If you could email me or put on, share on social media photographs of what the children have done, it'll be great to be able to share them tomorrow. And everyone, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow.